Hello guys, welcome back to another edition of the Black Star series. The life here on Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. On the Black Star series, we bring you the latest and exclusive updates concerning the Black Stars as they prepare to play a friendly match against Nigeria and also Uganda during the international break. And in today's video, we are going to talk about Mohamed Kudus. Multiple reports suggest that Mohamed Kudus have been ruled out to play for the Black Stars against Nigeria and also Uganda. We are going to talk about that and also his replacement. We are also going to bring you latest updates coming from the camp of the Black Stars in Morocco, Marrakesh, amongst many others. So guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed, so thank you very much and may God richly bless you. On the Black Stars series, we give shout out. So guys, if your name is on the channel on this, I to say a very big thank you to you. Please continue to support the channel. But if your name is not here, don't worry. Don't be offended. Comment under this video. And I'll make sure to bring up your name in the next shout out list. We do live here on Sports Corner GA. So guys, quickly, let's jump into it. And I'd like to begin with the 13 players who opened camp in Morocco, Marrakesh for the Black Stars. Now, these 13 players took part in the mobility and flexibility exercise. Immediately, they landed in Morocco. And these 13 players are... Joseph Walakot, Norris Atizigi, Andre Dede Ayu, Tariq Lante, Antoine Semenyon, Kasim Nuhu Adams, Abdul Salis Samed, Abdul Fatah Ishahaku, Patrick Pozo, Ali Disiedu, Enes Nyama, Jordan Ayu, and also Dennis Odoi. 13 players open count for the Black Stars in Morocco, Marrakesh. Now, later yesterday evening, they held their first training section, but then the number increased from 13 to 16. That means three more players joined the Black starting count in Morocco. Now, these players who joined were Osman Ibrahim. This is his first time ending a call-up with the Black Stars. He is a product of Right to Dream and currently plays for Nordjylland, who is going to play later at Brighton and Wolf Albion. We also had Nuruddin Abdullah join the rest of the team for the first training session. He came into the Black Star team to replace Nathaniel Ije and currently plays for Mediama. And also Frederick Asari. Yes, the Asante Kotoko goalkeeper. He was also part of the 16 players who took part in the first training session for the Black Stars as they prepared to face Nigeria and also Uganda. Now, the latest updates we are receiving from Ghana Football Association is that seven more players have joined the Black Star team camp in Morocco, Marrakesh, increasing the number from 16 to 23. Now, these seven players are Osman Bukari, Edmond Abo. Jerome Opoku. Now, Jerome Opoku originally was not part of Otoado's final 26 month squad. So, definitely, he is one of those players who have ended late call up to join the Black Star squad. Fossil Amalfa, who we have already talked about, Ebenezer Anan, we have also talked about him, Baba Idrisu, and also Francis Abu. For those who don't know Francis Abu, let me give you a brief background on who Francis Abu is. Now, Francis Abu is a product of Right to Dream. So currently, we have five players from Right to Dream Academy in the Black Star squad. Now, he currently plays for Sergio Brugger in the Belgium Pro League. And he is just returning from NG. Now, when he returned from NG, he only played eight matches for Sergio Brugger in the Belgium Pro League before ending the call-up to the Black Stars. He usually plays as a number 8 or a number 10. And he's a very good ball progressor. And I like what the coaching staff of the Black Stars are doing. They are bringing in different options when it comes to our midfield because we have always complained about our midfield that it is not good. We don't like the usual suspects. Baba Idrisu, Edmond Nagu, Elisha Ousu. At least we want to see a bit of change. We want to see a bit of spikes in our midfield. And that is what the technical team and also Uto Abu is doing. They are bringing in the young players who can bring a bit of diversity in our midfield. The likes of Fosin and Mankwa, uh, Francis Abu. These players bring a certain type of dynamics into our midfield. And I'm really excited to see what Francis Abu can bring into the Black Star squad. He's just 22 years of age. Yes, just 22 years of age. The product of Right to Dream. So guys, that is the latest update concerning the Black Stars and also their campaign in Morocco, Marrakesh. Now moving away from that, let's talk about the latest. Yes, Mohamed Kudus. I mean, most of us are waiting for Mohamed Kudus to join the Black Star team camp. But then the latest update we received this morning is that Mohamed Kudus will not be with the Black Stars. In fact, he has been ruled out. And yesterday, I brought you an update that Victor Osimhen has also been ruled out. And I also made a suggestion that if Victor Osimhen is not going to play, then Mohamed Kudus shouldn't even bother. And, I mean, 
Guess what? As if it's a coincidence. This morning, we received a report suggesting that Mohamed Kudus was feeling some sort of discomfort. So he's going to treat it. He's going to use this period to treat that discomfort. And that is the report on your screen. I'm going to read it out. It says that Mohamed Kudus won't make the trip to, the Mo uh, to Morocco for Ghana's friendly against Nigeria and also Uganda. The 23-year-old is expected to stay in London and nest a shoulder discomfort he picked up after Aston Villa game. And this is the latest update we are picking from the camp of Mohamed Kudus. I think it is okay if Mohamed Kudus doesn't come. We have players who we need to really watch because as at this point, we really need to get a solid team for the qualifiers we are going to play in June. We have Afcon 2025 qualifiers to play and World Cup 2026 qualifiers to play. We need good players. We already know Mohamed Kudus. When he's fit, we know what he can do with the Black Stars. So, I mean, it's okay if he doesn't come for these friendlies. But then the new players that are in the Blaster squad definitely need to show us what they can do. And Mohamed Kudush's replacement in the Black Star team camp is Francis Abuki and a late collab. So he's coming into the Black Star team to replace Mohamed Kudush. So yes, Mohamed Kudush is out. Francis Abu is in to replace him. So guys, that is the latest update concerning Mohamed Kudus. Let me know your thoughts about it. Are you happy? I think people still want to see Mohamed Kudush play in the friendlies against Nigeria. But I mean, I've already said it. If Osimen is not there, I mean, what is the banter all about? Like, who are we going to do the banter against? Like, you get me. So right now, it is it is fair. There's no woman to do There's no Osimen. Let's play. As simple as that. So guys, let me know your thoughts about that down below in the comment section. Now, let's move away from that and talk about the Black Satellite. Yesterday, they impressed me a lot. And people have started comparing their performance to that of the Black Stars. People feel like the Black Satellite played very well yesterday against Senegal. Even though that was their toughest match so far, people still believe that not even this group of players are doing so well. And people are asking the JFE to keep most of these players, develop them so that they can be promoted or they can rise through the ranks from the under-20s to the under-23s and then straight into the Black Stars. These players should not be abandoned along the way. That means that after this tournament, that should be all. These players should constantly be checked upon. We should know their progress as time goes by. And then there is one player who actually you know, impressed me yesterday and I would like to talk about him. He was wearing jersey number 20 for the black satellite his name is abdul sulimana apparently he's the younger brother of kamal new sulimana yes and i all i want to say is it's in the family it's in the family this guy is so skillful that guy was so skillful yesterday i mean if you look at the way he dribbles he's very pacey he knows how to handle ball in tight spaces i loved it i loved every bit of his play abdul sulimana i mean I believe that, I mean, as time goes by, he definitely would have get a place in the Black Stars. If GFA do their things right, this boy is a potential that needs to be catered and developed. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Just in number 20, he, he was really exceptional. Abdul Suleiman. Also, just in number 11, I mean, that guy, that guy was super, 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 super good. He was super, super good. I think the Black Satellite goalkeeper isn't bad at all, in my own opinion. He kept his school so far in the tournament. He has only considered one goal. I mean, that is really excellent. I think the whole squad in its entirety are, are really good as a unit. And I believe we need to keep majority of them. I know not all of them are going to make the Black Star squad, but then majority of them could be developed in such a way that we can have a succession plan for most of the players in the Black Stars currently. So if we have, we have to, like, you know, bring a player to replace Andre Dede Ayu, this will be the best time to look at some of these players. If you have to bring a player to replace Jordan Ayu, this will be the best time to look at these players. And honestly, I have been showed with their performance. They are going to face Uganda in the finals. We hope that they win that. So guys, this is where I end today's video. Let me know your thoughts about what we discussed down below in the comment section. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'm not sure to see you in the next video. Charlie, we provide.